right, everybody. I am on a mission. This will be finished. This will work. Looks like it works now. No. It will be better. But first, I must tear this all down. <laughs> uh, this kills everything, right? Yep, there we go. Not the hair? Nope, that didn't work. Oh god. Uh, but yeah, I, I have to I have to destroy all of this. Goodbye, all my work. The work I spent like three days trying to figure out how to make this. It must be better than what it looks like right now. Because right now it is terrible. I don't like it. And I've learned so much. This will work, I swear. This is not working. <laughs> So, I'll see you when I get some progress. Alright, so... I've noticed that I'm starting to get a lot more... prepared, I guess. I don't know how to explain it. I do a lot more before I start, just so I know everything works. So basically, what I'm going to do is to know... have the Deku Scrub know which way you're at, I'll have a certain block, probably not these ones because there's a lot of them in, and I usually would like to use them as building. And basically what this does is it tests for whether you're on one of the blocks. And it only does it for one, no matter how hard you try. I think I can even do a thing. 207, 4, 6, 2, 5. If I do this point zero. Yeah, even when you're exactly in the middle, it still does only one. One other thing I might add is that there is a limitation to this, which is the fact that it will only be able to shoot eight ways. But I realized I was so busy trying to make it so that it would shoot directly which way you were at, that I didn't realize that it doesn't really matter that much. Because if it shoots like right here and it misses you you still can't kill it unless you're in the direct fire of it that way you can use your shield to kill it so if it can't kill you you still can't kill it so I figure that that's good enough right <laughs> I hope so well isn't this colorful alright I say that a lot but I don't know what else to say I'll change it up next time. This has been created with this. And that already scares me. I plan to make it so that I only have to summon all of these once, and then for the diagonal, I'll keep, hopefully, I'll be able to keep the wood blocks the same and whatever face, I can put it on this corner, and it, hopefully, it doesn't look really dumb. If that doesn't work, then I'm going to have to, like, move every one of these individually. Because when I summon it, it doesn't really work. I don't really know how to explain it. But it would definitely be better if I could just rotate the whole thing. Which is really complicated, but we'll do it. The other problem is the fact that each and every one of these has to be named a different thing. Just so that if it does require me to rotate this whole thing... It, I can r rotate each one individually because if you just rotate all these like 45 degrees which is like that much then they're all going to be like in an X kind of position I don't know how to explain it but yeah this is what I've made and just to make everyone really angry or whoever actually sees this it looks nice and seamless sort of unless you've already seen it but if you just look really closely every time on the left of these blocks they're like pushed in just slightly <laughs> you can like barely see the crease right there just so that this crazy weird visual glitch doesn't happen when you're looking at the Deku scrub but it's like it's it's just right there just that little seam you can always see it hopefully hopefully that bugs you because I want it to I don't know why I just do I think it's done. 
<laughs> Give me some more time. You, for you, I know a lot of people say this, but for you, it's been like, bam. For me, I've spent like an hour or two just being like, boop, nope, boop, nope, not right the plate, not, nope, boop, that's not the right place, boop. There we go. So give me more time to do that and it'll be good. Ho oh ho! Progress is being made. So I summon this, it makes that, and then you push this button, and bam! Looks pretty darn good. So it's going to be able to look eight different directions. And then once you hit the Deku nut back at him, I can have a thing that teleports these four blocks a certain way. So I did it already before. I don't know if I can do it exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect, right? Basically what happens is no matter where it's at, the face will always go to its corner as long as you teleport it all a certain direction. That way once you hit the Deku Nut back it spins around and spins its head around until you kill it or it goes back in its hole. So it works really well. It's gonna work. It's gonna be awesome. <sighs> so many snags. It, it will get done but it's just I feel like it's slowly devolving every time. So Basically, I realized that when you do hit the Deku Nut back at him and he does the spin thing and he's like running around spinning his head around, I won't be able to do that because one, when I teleport his head that way and then I teleport it here, it doesn't work going back. And I don't know how I'd make that work for this because you go here, then here, but then if you go back here it wouldn't work. So I'm just going to have to summon it in the exact location every time, and then once you hit it, he will move around, but his face will stay on the same side that you killed it on. Which kind of sucks, but I mean, I, I, I don't got much to work with here, okay? <laughs> I'm doing my best, I swear. It'll, it'll be good. You'll, you'll be hopefully a little bit happy with it. We'll see. Okay, okay, so first we'll start off with the good news, which is that I've gotten every direction for the Deku Scrub finished. So now I just have to hook all these up to the right places. Now for all the bad news. The bad news is that I, every time I create another one of these in the world, in a specific place, I have to change the coordinates of every one of these command blocks right here. Luckily I have a little bit of a code, so I just have to add this much to this command block when you, or you copy this block, paste it into this one, and then add that much to the coordinates, and then do the same thing. So it won't take as long. And the other bad news is I've been searching for a way to make a hitbox. Normally the sky will be invisible, don't worry about that. But I've been trying to figure out a way because I want a slime because it's got a square hitbox and it fits perfectly and what I've been having trouble is I was trying to figure out a way to kill the smaller ones so that once you killed the first one it wouldn't have this happen and I've been I've been doing all this crazy stuff where I've been giving it a scoreboard and then killing the small ones with a scoreboard so it gives the ones that are size 0 the scoreboard of Deku Scrub and then once it sees that it'll teleport it down and kill it but I, I've been spending like hours trying to figure that out and then I realized it's so simple the babies still have the name on them I thought they didn't have a custom name on them after they were babies meaning okay that's weird it just stopped but anyways all that means is that instead of having to give it a scoreboard for it to work oh everything's broken <laughs> this happens sometimes 
basically instead of having to do a multiple amount of command blocks like this, I can just have one, like I wanted to. So instead of this, all I'd have to do is kill nearest entity type equals slime, and then name ugh, name equals Deku scrub one and then I just have to put size zero now it'll always kill baby slimes that are named Deku scrub and if you spawn others they still survive so I can make multiple of the slime NPC so if I want to make a different enemy that uses slimes for the hitbox I can hopefully that made sense all I know is that this single command fixes it and I've wasted three hours when I could have been finished with this in a few minutes. <laughs> but from what it looks like, the rest should be pretty basic. Everything else should just fall right into place. It's just a little time consuming. <laughs> <laughs> no! What I did, it did work. It, it was completely fine. It worked. This, I thought it worked, but then I realized that half of the part that I wanted it to work didn't work. Because although this does kill it, you'll be able to see the baby slimes get killed. The other part that I need is the part where it teleports it down so you don't actually see the baby slimes. And basically that this did both. This is only killing them. This also was supposed to teleport it, but it isn't. So I have to remake this. And I just broke it, and then I realized, wait, so... I hate life. This game's a jerk sometimes. We're almost done, it looks the exact same. Now I just have to remember what all the, all the command... This guy kind of reminds me of that butler from Majora's Mask. Not bad. I'm never making that game though in this game. By that point, I'll probably actually know how to make my own games. But this is the best I got. Alright, here is the finished look of the Deku Scrub. It isn't finished working, but the look of it is finished. I hope you like it. Yeah, I mean, it's okay. I wanted to make it look a little ruffled for the hair, I guess is what it is, the leaf part. And I didn't want to use leaves because then you'd be able to see that. <laughs> and when you get too close, he'll go under, so you won't be able to go in and see it anyways. But yeah, that's basically what it's going to be looking like. Now the rest is just getting it to work. Alright. Okay. Okay. I have a lot of doubt that this is going to work. But, let's just go ahead and try it. I have inputted all the coordinates and all that stuff for this to work. Unfortunately, I didn't really think about how I was going to move that head down here, but when I actually put one of these in the world, it'll look fine. It's just kind of spread out, and I don't feel like putting in the coordinates just for this, so when I step on this pink, its face should face us. I don't see its face. Wait, oh, okay, where's its mouth? That is the question. And what does this do? Because I don't remember it. Okay, it's just teleporting it. Um, so that one didn't activate. So it's summoning it and then it's killing it. Just what I wanted to see. Uh, what if I summon it manually? Then it's fine. 
So basically what it's telling me is I have to put it on an even bigger delay. That's fine. So that means it works. So next cut will probably be showing the Deku Scrub in an actual habitat. Or actually it's going to be me making the actual Deku Scrub shoot out a Deku Nut. I just realized that I have to do that whole part. <laughs> How did I miss that? I just realized I have to do that whole thing with the Deku Nut, which shouldn't be too difficult, but it's still going to take like an hour. How did I... <laughs> I just like completely blew over that. I was like, nah, that's, that's not a thing that happens. I'll cut to when I make the Deku Scrub actually shoot things. Alright, before I head off to bed for today, let's just... okay. Oh, that's not supposed to happen. I just want to show a cool little thing. It's it's still not near as finished as I thought it might have been. But I do want to show a cool thing that I am pretty happy with so far. We push the button, we hold our shield, and it bounces back. Everything else, nothing works. This is the only direction that this works so far in. But it works nonetheless, and it's pretty darn cool looking. Ah, uh, I was going to block it, but I missed. Here, there we go. Let's see if we can do it from all the way back here. Eh, here we go, and... Did I get it? Couldn't really tell. <laughs> it's kind of hard to see with all this stuff. Yay, it works! Okay, I've gotten a few things done now. So... Let's just take a look. <laughs> Quite a bit. Only one of these works right now, out of all these eight lines right here. It's just this one, but all I have to do now is just copy in the right direction for it to go. So like teleport it this way, teleport it a different way for that. It's a lot more than I expected for the Deku not to shoot out, but it'll work. So, the Deku scrub keeps shooting these out when we're on this side. If we're on this side, it won't. And when we have our shield, it will knock it back. And yeah, it works so far. Now I just have to do the annoying part, which is copy and paste all this in. And then I have one concern, which is, although when one of these does start, where it like summons it and teleports it to the right way for the Deku Nut, sometimes it doesn't always kill the Deku Nut, so if I can do it real quick here, it'll have two going one way. So I'll get to that when that actually happens, we'll see if I can fix it. Okay, it's been a really long time since I started working on this again. I took a pretty long break. Oops. I shouldn't have done it, but I did. And it took a while to get everything figured out. I really need to figure out how I'm supposed to, like, make it convenient to change all this without it being right on top of my testing area. <laughs> because it kind of gets annoying when you, like, test it. You go over here, test this one. Can't really tell if it's working. And then you go change something, and then you come back over here. It's like, ugh. So... I have almost finished it. It is basically completely finished, other than the part where you hit the Deku Scrub and he goes moving around a little bit. And then that's your chance to kill him. So, as you can see, it always bounces his back. It stops shooting once it hits him, but once you go into a different square, it'll allow you to hit him again. And there's a very small glitch that when you move between two at just at the right time it'll spawn two or it'll just spawn one kind of like a heat seeking missile let me see if I can do it like that but if you manage to hit it then it still manages to work if you don't hit it it no big deal because it'll just go away it's very difficult to do you have to know like the exact right timing for it to work so all that's left is to make it move around a little bit I am freaking angry. 
This is crazy annoying. Oh my god. Okay, start from the beginning. I, I loaded up the world after a while, it's been a while, and blah blah blah. I did some stuff. Um, the last thing I did was I was making these firewalls in the fire temple. Simple enough, right? They, if I can find one, basically once you get near it, it will light on fire, and if you're too close, it gives you a thing, which I'll put in later. And basically, I thought this was making the whole world lag like crazy, because once I logged back in, everything was crap. Uh, let's see if I can shut that off. I should fix it. Yeah, these things, these boulders were literally going boop, 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 and they sucked. And I was like, it must have been these things, because this is what makes the firewall work. And basically, what I thought was happening was, same as the boulder video, when chain blocks are like this, sometimes it makes the whole world just go crap, even if there's two of them. So I was like, oh, I guess I have to just get rid of all of these, which activates the fire like this, and switch them to a little area like right here. So basically I had to switch all of these around, which took about 30 minutes, and I'm like, okay, it's still lagging. Why the heck is it still lagging? So, finally, I go to uh, the boss place and the Deku Scrub, because I was planning on finally moving this thing into a real place, and I thought saw how slow this thing was going. And basically, I just tore it down now, we'll go into a different world and show you. A little thing right here is what was causing almost all the lag. Lag. So let's get into it now. And basically, this right here. This is what's making everything horrible. As you can see, it takes forever to pop up, and there you go. That's how fast the boulders were moving. So as soon as I deactivate this, basically, it will stop working or it will go a little bit faster. So let me do that, and this, done. Almost fully back to the normal speed. What is this? <laughs> Why? Spent like an hour trying to fix something that wasn't even the problem. Granted it helped, but it wasn't necessary. <laughs> And all it was was these two command blocks. Freaking hate my life. Not really. <laughs> well, it's finally starting to happen. I've cloned a bunch, uh, or all of the Deku Scrub commands and everything, into a new place where one of them actually works. Which is right here, I think this is the first encounter you ever see of one when you're going on the story, unless you go to the Lost Woods. But I thought this would be a good place to start, and it's very repetitive and boring, and this part is my least favorite, because I don't even remember how I did this. Because this is supposed to determine where the face goes whenever it teleports. Because I can't have that work any other way other than just summoning it exactly where it needs to go. So the first one I need to start with is this one, and then I can just add these numbers to each one of them, and hopefully that'll make it easier. As everything else is pretty difficult. This board thing, it does sort of work. I may, I'm basically just having it so that it tests for the person in the main area. I'll probably get rid of these later, because they don't really matter anymore. <laughs> but some of it does. I think my only regret is that this little square is kind of big for where you get too close and it hides, but it's, it works, whatever. It, it's okay. <laughs> It'll work. Okay. God, I hate this. <laughs> I've spent an hour now changing every little thing so that it works just right. Right, 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 right. These things right here have to be changed to a number. 
That way when there's multiple of them, they don't teleport in a weird way. So basically I have to change all of these from Diggernut 0 to Diggernut 2. Meaning I have to change all of these one by one, basically. Like you copy one of them, once it's changed, break all of these, replace them, and then paste it in. And then I have to do that eight times, along with a bunch of other stuff. And I've I've tried to make it like simple, 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 simple. But whatever, it only takes an hour, and there's only like what 16 Deku scrubs in the whole game. 16 hours. Uh, what have I done? Sometimes I just. Uh, do you see its eyes and mouth? How they don't teleport at the exact same time, and it looks really stupid. Ignore the slime, that'll be invisible. <sighs> These are what teleport it. Of course they don't teleport at the exact same time for no reason in particular. And I really don't want to change this because I've changed it so many times. Not just once, but twice because I also have to change the one that I'm going to be copying and pasting everywhere. The only idea I have, which I, I'm pretty sure it's going to work, because all my second ideas that end up taking forever will work, is do something like this. Because this is like the fastest that it'll do, and then just make it so that they're all facing upwards. And I am very confident that that will probably work. But I just finished putting the coordinates for each and every one of these. Granted, they're all the same for each little row right here, but it's still painfully annoying and slow. So I'm going to debate whether I want to change or if whatever. I'll just get rid of the eyes and mouth and then just have it that log thing teleport around. We'll see. It is done. This is the best I can make it. I'm going to do one more thing, which is turn off the show bounding box. And now it works. The Great Deku Scrub, not the Great Deku Tree, the Deku Scrub is finished. Now all that's left to do is copy like 14 more of these into different parts of the world. But we'll get to that later. Uh, I'll make sure that when it, you first get into here it'll work. So now... Okay, I'll fix that. Whatever. Whenever I fix that it'll work. So just pretend that doesn't happen. <laughs> so if we go into survival, we should take damage when we run into the thing. Yep and it goes all eight directions. It's a little unforgiving about where or how you get hit from the nut, but whenever you're holding the shield just in general, it'll block it. So let's watch as it moves around. The first time, the face is gone, like I said. Just seemed like the easiest way. It's, it really sucks, but I mean, I'd rather have it be quality over quantity. Okay. And now let's just kill it. And I'll fix the health at some point, because sometimes it doesn't really work. That's one thing I also forgot. Oh, well, well, forgive me, Master. If, you, if I give you a tip, will you let me go? When you jump off a cliff, you won't get hurt from the fall, which is actually true. Although you don't see jump boosts, so how do I do it? Anyways. You, you might not have noticed the pressure plate got filled here, so now you can go to the next room, and you get a heart, which actually replenishes the heart. Finally, I can actually upload this video. <laughs> it's been a month 
probably since I started working on the Deku Scrub. And even longer since I tried to make it for the first time, which I tried to use like a skeleton to shoot the Deku nut, but we won't get into that. It works. It's an accomplishment. I'll fix those few little bugs, but for the most part, it is done. <sighs> Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, or co even comment down below anything. It can be like, man this sucks, or man this rocks, or something in the middle. I just want to know what you guys think. I did this for you. Yes, that it's this specific person right there, yes. Just you, and all the other people. But for now, just you. Okay, I've, I've done this long enough. Goodbye.